I'm Jenny. This is my snarky and condescending husband. Hi, I'm Jenny. And I'm the Jason of All Trades. This is part two of the two-part series of uh, my wife and me swapping sewing machines. So, uh, in the previous video in this series, Jenny very um, sportingly took on my most difficult to use industrial sewing machine, and now it's payback time. <laughs> uh, so in this video, uh, I'm going to be using her um, Plastic Fantastic Brother machine, uh, I guess for the sake of argument, it's a Brother CX155LA, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it's not that different from other domestic sewing machines that I've used in terms of the the size and the function, you know, whereas the industrial machine was a lot bigger and faster and yeah. stuff. But there's a lot more computer controlled stuff. But it, to kind of make it more fair, not only am I going to be using this sewing machine, but Jenny's going to walk me through some quilting techniques that I've never done before. So let's see how it goes. Of course, we can't do anything now because Bob and sitting on the <laughs> Robin, you want to help? Yeah, just a tip. Don't stare into the camera too much. It looks weird. Yeah. It's good to make eye contact with the audience, but if you're just like fixated on the camera, yeah. it looks weird. So don't be afraid. Don't feel like you need to be looking in it. Do you want to show me what to do with the zipper? We're going to do an invisible zipper? Yeah, we're going to do an invisible zipper. Um, in order to prep an invisible zipper, you have to iron the teeth down so that way it's easier to sew and it will more easily go through the special foot that I have for an invisible zipper. I have a question. What's an iron? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just let you iron uh, the right. thing just because... <laughs> you gotta watch your fingers. It's just a quick iron to flatten out the teeth from the back side of the zipper. And in order to make it uh, sew more easily to the fabric because the foot that I have has channels in it for the teeth. Okay. And you want the stitching to end up right next to the teeth. Right now the teeth are curled over and so the stitching will actually go into the feet if you don't do this step. So, so see this I've already flattened out. Oh, okay. See how this is flattened and feel it. Huh. Feel that that's got some curve yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and makes then this sense. one, feel this one, this one's all flat. Huh. Yeah. Well, we so done. it's just so that way it can go through the foot easier. Interesting. Oh, yeah. sorry. I need my glasses. Sorry. I'm like going blind. We're both almost 30, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> this is the brother. <laughs> it's not heavy. <laughs> nope, it's not. And it's a little dusty. You know, your machine had a lot of warnings for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's, you know, there is no belt here to like, <laughs> you know, maul your fingers and rip them off. Where's the fun in Flying this? <laughs> across the room with blood spattering everywhere. Um, the on-off is very easy and when this machine is off, <laughs> your pedal will not work. Uh, first of all, it's very lightweight portable. There's also this too. I have um, a quilting tray because I quilt uh, on this and this helps with giving me a bigger platform. All right, to turn it on, there's just a switch in the back. There, okay. it's on. And that's it. And it's very quiet. So, so uh, I made you, um, I didn't make you, you Thread I did to rethread my machine, <laughs> so I guess I'm going to thread your machine. You said you have some black thread that I can yes, use for I this? Yes, I do. Right over Is there. This? Yeah, that one. And Where's the rest have... of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have a bigger spool if you want. Uh, I know. Uh, you don't have to buy as much thread for this. <clears throat> so, do you want to just re-thread it based on how you see it might be threaded? I mean, it's got instructions written all over it. It does? Yeah. Oh, it does. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. So I'm just going to follow the diagram thing here. Does that just like that? Nope. That's actually to wind the bobbin. Oh, is that for winding the bobbin? Gotcha. <laughs> you got it right. 
Does it have to like latch into anything? No, nope. it just, yeah. Yeah. And then if you see, if you bring up the needle, I mean, it's already up. But if you bring it up and down, you'll see there's a metal uh, hoop in there that you swing it around the backside and pull forward and it'll get caught on the hoop. So is that the only thread guide? Yeah, correct. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, and then I usually put the... No, is that, where you can try it? that, yeah. Where, so, is that the foot lever? No, this is the foot lever. That, right that's here. what I was looking for. Yeah. But this is to thread it automatically. It's just that uh, you can try it. Mm. It doesn't always work. I need to replace that because I used it a lot. You know what? Honestly, like my opinion of those is pretty low. Like every time I've had a machine that had one, it never worked. Uh, I mean, these are all vintage yeah. machines, but still, I just don't know. And my needles do not have a... I don't think they do. They, they most definitely do. So They do? Yeah, so the a way... Channel? Yeah, the, oh. the way the needle works, there's a groove right here. Oh, really? Mm hmm Oh, um, okay. And that groove should be uh, in the on the face of the needle that the thread runs okay. through. But yeah, on a, on a home machine needle, it's a lot harder to detect because it's pretty small, but is it in? <laughs> what uh, bobbin thread color do we have in here? Black. No, can you figure it out, I, you think? Or? No, but you said it is black now? Yeah, it is black. So I guess we don't need to change it. But no, I, we don't. <laughs> okay, I thought that was just going to flip open. Yeah. yeah. Wait, this isn't a bobbin, it's plastic. <laughs> it is plastic. And there's a certain direction, and it shows you. There's a little so picture of a bobbin. Yeah. So you want your... That's so what <laughs> That's what it says. Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> Did you do that right? Wait. Okay, yes, you're right. This is the way, so you put the bobbin in there, Yeah. and then, yeah, I just usually go from the top, swirl around, and then you swirl back down here, Oh, okay. and then boop, it breaks it for you, because there's a little... Alright, so, right. I think it's ready to go. Um, yeah. Now, how do I know, is this, is this in a zigzag stitch now that I need to change it to straight stitch, or is that just nope. what it would be if I said it? Um... So I've got a two. I'm trying to remember what that is. <laughs> so right now I've got a two point. I don't touch any of this stuff. <laughs> Seriously, the only thing I change is this number here, zero one. Okay, zero one. You look on the diagram. Oh, so that's straight stitch. Gotcha. <laughs> that's a straight stitch. The other stitches I use, like you have zigzags, you have uh, buttonhole stitches, and I have a separate buttonhole foot actually, um, where you put the button on top and then it'll create a button. Do you have some um, piece of scrap that I can try? Yeah. With? You're Here. so much more organized than I am. Hi, Miss Dean. Ooh, this is our chunk. Coquina. <laughs> My little chunk. Oh, hi, little girl. She's happy. Hi, Miss Dean. Are you going to help? Yeah, she's going to help. <laughs> All right. So I always hand wheel down into the fabric before it starts sewing. Do you do that? Do you... Nope, <clears throat> I don't. What is this? Um, tension? That's the tension. Interesting. I don't ever adjust that really unless I'm quilting a thick quilt. <laughs> I'm gonna... So just step on the pedal and start yeah. sewing? Okay. Just step on the pedal. And if you want to back stitch, just while you're stepping on the pedal, you hit the reverse button. It's while my foot is on the pedal. pedal while yeah, it's you going. have to start going. So, <laughs> I'm expecting it. To... You can just floor it, honey. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to go too yeah. fast, but. And then just push. We, you have to hold it down. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. You know, go the other way now. <laughs> That'll, it'll do that a lot yeah, easier yeah, 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 yeah. with the yeah, yeah. motion foot, but. All right. I mean, it's actually, I mean, it, it's of course easy to control. I, like, the speed control is fantastic. Um, I'm not, I'm not surprised, but it is impressive actually how good the slow speed control is compared to the, a lot of the machines that I use. So it's pretty, pretty comfortable to just sit down and sew on other than there being a dizzying array of buttons and options and stuff.
So none of these aren't buttons at all. This is just a menu of this stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a menu of that. And then you have speed control on here also. So. And that was the fastest speed. Yeah, that was it. Well, got it. Just gun it. It is gun. It is gun. That, oh, that's, that's on the slow. Sorry. Yeah. That's why I was like, why isn't it gunning? And then go on the medium. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to eat a sandwich. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to be making a quilted bag. So you have chosen a lovely checkered pattern and yellow. And we also have our bat ink in the middle, which is used in quilting. So I'm going to assemble this into a sandwich. It doesn't matter uh, which fabric goes on top or bottom, as long as the nice part of the fabric, the right side, is on the outside. Okay. And this yellow one, I can't really tell, yeah, I don't but think I think matters, this yeah. is, sure. yeah, so. All right, and then I'm going to pin it together so that way, at least on the corners, it'll stay together. Uh, you'll be more easily able to see your stitches on the yellow fabric than you will on the checkered. So I'll have you free motion quilt from this side. And I guess if I wanted the stitching to be more prominently visible on that checker, the checkerboard is what I want oh. on the outside. So I could use like a bright color or something, but I'm going to keep it black because I want it to be kind of subtle. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, you could use a yellow bobbin thread and then the bottom will be... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I, I never... Uh, the only time I put different colors in is if I'm trying to demonstrate or see for myself the tension is correct or not, you know, so oh. it's easier for me to tell. But yeah. I never actually use different colored top and bottom threads. But, okay. So. And then now, this is the jumpy foot. <laughs> it's actually a jumping foot. Um, it's for quilting. I think it's actually called the jumping foot. This is what you use for free motion quilting. It's got spring action on it. The foot plants itself on the fabric as you're sewing. Uh, I think with every stitch, it like basically plants onto the fabric. The needle goes in, makes its thread, and then the whole thing lifts up. So it's kind of like a walking foot, but with only, instead of two things alternating, just one Correct, thing. Correct, just like one, yes. Okay. And in order to use this foot, you want to drop the feed dogs on the sewing machine because the feed dogs are what's um, helping you push the fabric through but it's only one direction from front to back if you drop the feed dogs you can go anywhere you want you can make like when you were doing the swirly thing on this sample here that was harder to do because you had the feed dogs trying to push it straight forward and you were trying to go sideways on it when you drop the feed dogs and with this uh, free motion quilting foot you can go anywhere i mean you can like people make elaborate patterns I've right flowers I, i've, I've tried like that, it so. a time or two with some of my other machines but i've never really tried it so i'm interested to see how this works yeah. i've never used so. a, a jumping foot though so and then now you have to drop the feed dogs we're going to take this off for now but the feed dog drop is back here. It's a switch that just slip, uh, switches from side to side. Okay, so like it's a mechanical... Oh, yeah, got it. correct. So you can see... I don't know mm -hmm. if you noticed the feed dogs dropped. I broke my machine. You broke my machine! My Why fault. Why are the feed dogs not... Oh, you have to be able to sew, I guess. There we go. That's why, because you have... Yeah. Okay, so that's something I forgot about my machine. If the um, foot lever... Is up. Is up. It won't start sewing, uh, and it errors yeah, yeah. out. That's I forgot smart. about that. Yeah. So I can't tell you how many times I wish some of my <laughs> machines would have done that. So that's why it wasn't doing things correctly. So yeah, actually <clears throat> practice on that first. Um, so hold on, hold on. You said practice. <laughs> so this is on one right now. It's just a regular oh, straight stitch. Gotcha. So we want to tell the machine that we're using a jumping foot, which is number 43. So the trick with free motion quilting is... You are the person, you are gauging the stitch length. The stitch length, yes. Right. Uh, and you want, with practice, you end up um, you don't think creating gonna, equal You don't stitch think I'm going to be length. perfect right off the <laughs> bat? Never and, done it before? Yeah, so the stitch lengths, what do you think are the two factors that cause the stitch to be longer versus shorter in this situation if you're using a jumpy foot? 
travel speed has to be one. Yeah, speed, correct. And actually, you got both of the factors in one. Oh, I you, you, you so, just, yeah, the, how fast I'm moving the material and how fast the machine is stitching. And correct, the relationship yeah, the so the control is the pedal, your foot pedal, how fast you're pushing that, um, and then also the speed at which you're, <laughs> you're moving the, sh the fabric. So... I, however, I don't like going slow on my machine. So, <laughs> so what I do, I found that if I just gun it, I can monitor. I, I don't have to monitor my foot speed. I, all I have to monitor is the the um, speed at which I move the fabric. Oh, okay, okay. See that? Yeah, so, that's so I, got it. <laughs> I, I think I think what I was doing is trying to turn the fabric to keep going because I'm I'm imagining it being pulled through by feed dogs. Yes. But yes. Basically, okay. So that makes sense. All right, I'm ready. Okay, you're learning very quickly. Actually, it took me a while to learn this. <laughs> that looks cool. I have a good teacher. Do you want to try? Look, it's not fast enough to be like out of control, but it seems smoother when it's going faster. Hi, buddy. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. <laughs> so one thing that I see that's different, I was trying to show you this at the end of the last video and it didn't really go very well because I for some reason couldn't speak English, but um, on my servo motor machine, when I stop, the needle goes down. Mm. And so I don't have to do anything to make it go down and I can pivot my material or whatever I need to do. Uh, this one stops, needle up, yeah, and then you push the button. I, I wonder, it's probably possible to change that, I'm guessing, but... Oh, and to, so to back tack, I have to be sewing. Yeah, and you have push to the start button. it, and then just push that, and it'll back tack. And you have to hold on to that. I suppose I would get used to it. I think so far that's the thing I like the least about the machine so far. Like honestly, I'm, I'm not hating using this thing as much as I, th I really thought I was gonna <laughs> hate this. It's just weird to me. Like I wanna be able to put it in reverse while it's not doing anything and step on the pedal and it already be going backwards. Yeah. Um, I wanna trim these yeah. edges. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, there you go. Those are my favorite scissors. I use it for everything, not just for fabric. And I uh -oh. know people uh -oh. are going to scream well, about boy. that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> she said it, ladies, not me. Ooh. The grief I caught for cutting a pencil. Was Do you want to use the rotary scissors. cutter for that? It'll make it nice and straight. Here's a glove. If you haven't seen it in the 10 tips video I did uh, a while ago now, uh, I, I demonstrated how... Uh, dangerous the shears that I use could be by cutting a pencil with them and the internet had a fit so if you're mad because she said she uses her fabric shears for things <laughs> other than fabric you talk to her not me <laughs> okay so before we started this project uh, Jenny and I had a huge argument uh, not really no. but, um, <laughs> <laughs> when I make a bag like this out of one piece, the zipper has to be sewn on one side and then to the other side. And the only way I know to do that is to separate the zipper uh, or split the zipper. So I sew one side on one side, one on the other, and then put the zipper back together. She thinks that we can do this without separating this pre-made zipper. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's Show why I'm me. shocked that you actually cut the zipper. I'm like, what are you doing? All right. I will show you, grasshopper. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is the inside of the bag, the yellow, right? Correct. Okay. All right. 
and <laughs> you're gonna hate me. The bottom right drawer, there's the pins. <laughs> Will you get the pins out, please? I don't like pins. <laughs> oh, look out, buddy. <laughs> yes, those. So, uh, because somebody's going to ask, I don't like pins partly because most of the fabrics that I use, you have a hard time getting a pin through more than a couple of layers anyway. Uh, or pins will leave holes that could be visible and stuff. Uh, so I generally use either binder clips or wonder clips or basting tape or just hold stuff. I, I almost never use pins. I also hate poking my fingers. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Here's the top of the zipper, right? By top, you mean like the, the side that will be visible when visible, the yeah. thing is finished. Okay. Exactly. But invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so you want that to go so like this. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> you want to put it on the outside. Okay, that's the outside of your bag. And then you want, let me see. This is what you want. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get out one of my skirts. I'm like, this is confusing because that's sticking out. Oh, this is the piece. Yes. Okay. And then when this flips over like this, then you'll have perfect. Okay. All right. So this is the most confusing part. You should never talk with needles in your mouth. <laughs> So anyway, but yeah, so this is the right, the outside of your bag, and then the zipper, this is the bottom side of it. And it's, it looks weird, it sounds funny, but... No, it makes sense. I, ordinarily, I would fold that fabric under, yes. and then sew it down, you're just kind of doing it, yeah. the same thing, but Correct. Uh, Correct. Yeah. Different way. So... letting you do this. I'm busy. You should be doing this. I have my hands full. What the hell? I know. You love that cat more than you love me. Wouldn't you? <laughs> That's true. I love Coquina more than I love you. <laughs> Just kidding. I love my girl. Okay. There. There's that one side of the zip. Yeah. The zipper teeth are going to go through that channel. Take the needle out with the little... If there's one thing about this machine that is as bad as I thought it was going to be in terms of it being a modern machine versus what I normally use, it's the reverse. I don't, I don't like the reverse at all. <laughs> Yeah, the thing I don't like most about the reverse, there's two things I don't like. One, that I can't hold it down that, <laughs> what the heck just happened? I don't know. Whatever. I can't hold it down or push it and let it know, okay, I want reverse the next time I step on the pedal and it'll just start going backwards. Uh -huh. And then two, when I push it, it goes a whole more, a whole one more stitch before it actually starts going backwards. Yeah, it does. So I guess if you get used to that and you, you know, anticipate it, it's probably fine, but uh, it's messing with my head right now. <laughs> yeah. If we, if we trim this down here yeah, and then fold this over oh! and sew it down, that'll go. Yes. That sounds good. If only we had a rotary Perfect. cutter. Are you, are you getting bored and impatient? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, honey. <gasps> Did you? <laughs> oh my god! You freaking cut the zipper? I told you I should have done it. Now I'm gonna do this over. Okay, so we are back uh, after my colossal screw up. Off camera, we 
got back to where we left off and uh, covered that raw edge. So now we're going to do the other side, which I'm starting to have confidence can be done, but I don't think it's going to be super easy, but we'll see. So if you all hand me the pins, I'm going to pin the Oh, zipper. please do. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. God, that looks so nice. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that, that came out actually nicer than I thought it might. Okay. I'm really digging the snap-on foot, man. As much as I hate the reverse, I like the snap-on foot thing. Oh, shoot. I'm doing this wrong. Like. <laughs> Way to go, honey. Then you have the zipper foot on. Perfect. And then so just Nope. This... Not. You're going to do the regular, and you're able to put that to the side there. But you put the pins in backwards. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> what is it that I say at work? I don't say I don't say cuss words at um, crush. I'll say oh crush. Because that's call? way better than cussing at work. Which is I, not allowed. I never use profanity, so I don't know. Yeah, you're right. About. Yeah, right. You're right. This was backwards. I yeah, I know. Shut up, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> You cut the other zipper. <laughs> so now I'm really digging this snap and foot thing. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm like I did not expect oh to like any gosh. of this, but I really like the snap and foot. One day I'll get it. There you go. <laughs> Drop it in on the first try. All right. So now, yeah, I guess we're going to have to do the magic trick of removing the table. And I think in order to sew this piece, you want to just flip this over, right? I mean, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, that, that's yeah, right, that makes actually. complete sense, yeah. Yeah. So. If I want to move the needle position over, which on one of my machines would be a, uh, how, is there a way to do that? Um, gosh, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Oh, position. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, that's funny. It says position and shows stitch length. I know. I don't know how to. Yeah, that's the length. Yeah. Oh, crap. I don't remember Wait. how to do it. Oh, no, that's the jumping. Yeah. Thread. See, this, it'll go a little bit over. Oh, one, if you use. Oh, we're on oh, one. Are you trying to move it left or right? I want the needle to go to the right. Right. This is why I like vintage. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I don't know that you. Yeah. Okay, not worth it. So, there might be a function for it. That's right. It's just going to be a little crooked over here on this side, but that's alright. Alright, so... It's funny, I ever since I started making videos about sewing, I've realized how often I say the word sew and as the word so so and it now makes me very subconscious um s <laughs> so <laughs> <clears throat> see so, so i think what we want to do now um i was trying to think if it would be better to sew it on the outside turn it inside out close it on the inside and then turn it right side out again because oh. that's another way I've done this really? kind of thing yeah oh um, that's kind of smart actually all right I want the zipper because I'm a normal person <laughs> I want my zipper to close on the left and oh so you right. want the pull I'm gonna have one on each side actually. oh okay so you'll want to trim off this I will okay I'll be there. got it 
And then it's just. Does this. Oh, then it goes in. Yeah, just slide here. Yeah. And then stop one second. I just want to make sure here, because I just want to make sure that the yellow. Okay, all right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of curious now to see how this machine will handle this because now we've got one, two, three, what, like six layers? Of yeah, material I think so. The batting. So, I would straighten out those corners, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something? Uh, I have a chopstick yes. in my room. But... To your right, there's a chopstick. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Excellent sewing tool, guys. <laughs> You're way better organized than I am, obviously. Yeah. It should surprise no one. Did you make sure your pull tabs are like going this yeah, way? Yeah, I was actually looking them? at that, yeah. I, you know, it's funny, while we were thinking about it, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to see. It's like, so obvious, it's right yeah. there. But. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed that that did that that easily. <laughs> uh, I was ex not only expecting but kind of wanting this thing to flounder at some part of this because like if you're new to my channel and don't know me at all like I'm not fond of new sewing machines at all and I do think that you know my, my standard advice for people who ask you know, what kind of sewing machine they should buy to start out with. I, I still think buying a vintage machine is a better idea. You can buy them for 10 or 15 or 20 bucks um, and they work well, but this is working well. I'm, I'm surprised. And you've had this machine for five years? I think five years, years and I got it through one of the big name uh, sewing stores that everybody knows about the, that the, offers lots um, of discounts yeah. and coupons here in uh, the U.S. Um, but yeah, I got it actually around a Christmas sale and it was half off, so I paid 250 bucks for it and I'm very pleased with it. That looks cool. So far. I'm going to make one of those for me, <laughs> but it'll be bigger and it'll be for my makeup. I'm not going to use this for my makeup. <laughs> You go, boy. Look at you. Oh, you can hug your mama. Hi, Miss oh, Bean. Oh, Miss Bean. You go, girl. Mr. Nesco's like, no, I don't want to be hugged right now. So. <laughs> I really dig the hidden That's zipper. Cool. That's kind of cool. Looks, that looks really cool, the checkers with the, this is perfect. Yeah, there's a little bit it. of a uh, optical illusion yeah. kind of thing going on there, sort of. But... Wow, honey, you did a great job. Thank that you. looks awesome. Thank you so much. I love much the for colors. Like, that's so cool. The, uh, the hidden zipper, that's really cool. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. Yeah, that's still pretty big, even with the seam on the inside. I thought that was going to be too big of a seam, but that's really not, actually. There's plenty of room in there. Boom. Boom. What do you hate most about my machine? One thing. Reverse. I I hate the reverse for sure. Like legitimately don't like it. If if I were if I had to buy a modern domestic sewing machine and there was a machine that did everything else more or less the same but had a different reverse arrangement, that would be enough to sway me. Other than that, and what's the one thing you love the most? I don't know that I could say I love anything. I definitely didn't dislike it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I think it feels a lot more controllable than 
maybe not a lot, but more controllable. Uh, so to be fair, I haven't sat at one of my vintage domestic machines for a few weeks now at least. I've been using the industrials at work. So this feels a lot more controllable to me. But what impresses me the most, I guess, is uh, I, I didn't think like that. That last run sewing through pretty thick, thick, I mean, was that yeah, three eighths of an yeah. inch, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I thought it was going to at least struggle a little, but it didn't at all. It felt mm -hmm. terrific. So, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, I guess um, when people ask me about their more modern domestic sewing machines, I'm going to have to admit that this is a, certainly a viable option for sewing kinds of things that I like. I mean, I still, you know, it, it's not a walking foot industrial sewing machine, but it's not supposed to be either. Um, I also really enjoyed, thank you very much for showing me how to do the free motion free quilting. Motion, yeah. That, that I, honestly, I've seen you do it a few times. I like the look of it, but I've never thought about trying it. Yeah. Never thought it, I had no interest in it at all. Yeah. And that was actually fun. And I think I'll probably end up doing it again. So. Cool. Thank you for helping me make a cool bag. You're welcome, honey. So. Thank right. you. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you like what I do here, you can support me by buying cool shirts like this one from my Teespring store. You should see some links uh, below this video and in the description about that. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Clicking like really helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> and quirky. Snarky. Snarky. Snarky and condescending. Snarky and condescending. Is that nice? I don't know if that's nice. Of her to say that? No, it's, <laughs> it's not nice of her to say that. Okay, Isn't that what you wanted? This, yeah, that's perfect. I was just okay. trying to. Because you were in. like, I don't yeah. like, wait, crap. Yeah, no, that was for the camera. Oh, okay, good. It's called acting. Oh, all right.